Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm Molly Hubbard, and today we're going to be doing the famous Woosh Bottle experiment, or Fire Bottle. So first, we pour a small amount of 100% isopropyl alcohol into a clear water bottle. You can also use ethyl alcohol. Now, we swirl the bottle in all directions, trying to spread the alcohol liquid over the entire interior surface. This allows the liquid alcohol to volatize, and ideally makes the vapor concentration uniform throughout the bottle. It is also crucial to have vapors in the neck of the bottle for ease of ignition. Swirl the alcohol until there is minimum liquid remaining. After that, empty the bottle to make sure no liquid alcohol remains. Now, we had some technical difficulties, but ideally, you don't want to drop the match directly into the bottle. <laughs> I was a bit late, but you can see that if we stop any air from getting back into the bottle, you'll be able to see atmospheric pressure crushing it, just like the drums in my last video. Now preferably, the bottle would pop back into shape, but ours had melted. Listen in this next clip as you can hear the match hit the ground after the combustion has pushed it up and out of the bottle. Interestingly, the products after the combustion is a lot of CO2, carbon dioxide and H2O, water. Now if you want to suggest why the water is black, leave it in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed and learnt something from the video, as well as getting a little bit more curious. Please subscribe to catch next week's video, and click the imploding drum to see that experiment. Look at this! Oh! It soaked everything! <laughs> Meh. <laughs>